Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to make a quick video on resetting the SRS light on your Honda. Uh, this one in particular is a OBD1 Honda Accord, but this should work for OBD1 and OBD2 vehicles. Um, I'm not sure uh, how up to how recent this trick works, but uh, this is the generally accepted way to reset your SRS light if you have a Honda from uh, the mid 90s all the way up to maybe the mid 2000s, maybe even the 2010s. Uh, so let's get into it. So here we have the SRS light, that's uh, that one right there. Let me turn the key off and then back on. And you'll see the check engine light cycles, but the SRS light stays on. Now this could happen for uh, a number of reasons. Uh, it's on the forums, they seem to indicate that Hondas love to just trigger SRS lights for no reason, even though your SRS system is uh, working fine. Uh, so just a quick reset, and you should be on your way. Uh, what the reset does is it just um, basically, it just resets the module, and then the module will scan all of the components, and if it doesn't find any faults, then the SRS light stays off, and your SRS system is good to go. So typically your um, reset plug will be up in the driver's side footwell somewhere. Here's mine. As you can see, it is a two pin plug. Mine has gray wires going to it. Yours uh, may have a different color, but uh, gray seems to be the most common wire color for the uh, reset plug. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump jump the two pins together. Now I have this plug that I got from the uh, the seat on, uh, you know, the, the front seats on like a Honda Accord. This will be the plug that uh, tells your car if the, the front belt is buckled or not. Um, so I clipped one off and uh, you just loop it here. But like I said, um, some speaker wire or a paper clip will work just fine. And what you wanna do is you wanna plug it in Let's see here. It's easier with two hands. Hang on, let me let me get the tripod. So plug it in with the key off. So the key is off. That thing is jumpered. And essentially what you're gonna do is, if the light is on, you want the jumper to be in. If the light is off, you want the jumper to be off. And it'll just flash a few times uh, slowly. And you're gonna wanna have, you're gonna wanna do this fairly quickly, like within four seconds or so um, of when, you know, each step is required. All right, so you want it plugged in, key off, and then you turn the key on. And then watch the SRS light. When the SRS light goes out, you'll want to disconnect your jumper, which I just did. SRS light comes back on. You reconnect the jumper. SRS light goes out. You disconnect it. And then the flash flash tells you it is good to go. So just to double check that it is indeed reset, Take your jumper out, leave that plug unplugged, key off, turn the key on, check engine light cycles, and now the SRS light cycles, and you're good to go. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helped a few of you out there. Uh, if you have any additional questions, go ahead and uh, drop them in the comments below. Uh, if I can help you, I uh, would certainly love to. Um, anyways, uh, give this video a like. If you liked it, uh, share it to your friends. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Hit that notification bell if you'd like. And as always, thanks for watching. I will catch you later.